I find your lack of toys disturbing. Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano and I'm back with more Force Friday videos, more toy unboxings, all that cool stuff. And I've got another Micro Machine set. Surprise, surprise, it's all a Micro Machine set. Except for that one. That one's not Micro Machines. But we'll get into that in another video. But my last video, I unboxed the Stormtrooper, the first order Stormtrooper Micro Machines playset. Came with a figure and a vehicle. And it was pretty cool to see how it opened up and it was neat. But I'm here today with R2-D2 and I don't know what planet it is. I know that it's a snowy planet, but I don't think it's hot. Either way, I know it comes with a snow speeder which is a different kind of snow speed. It's a first order snow speeder and a Chewbacca minifigure. So that's pretty cool. I'm really excited to get into this one. Let's uh, let's, let's see what it does. Let's do it. Let's get in here. I've got my little blade here. It is my, it's my unlit lightsaber. We'll call it that. How about that? I was saying blade of exact zero earlier, but it's, it's like a lightsaber minus the light. All right, let's get in this thing. Now last time when I opened it and I unboxed it, a little figure fell out. Oh, did it happen? Worst unboxer ever. Alright, let's put this off to the side. Close the box. You can stay right there. Let's make some room here. Alright, there is a tiny... Oh, there he is. There he is. Tiny figure. He fell out. I've got some R2-B2 instructions. I've got another little figure there. Cool. Alright, so this is him. This is R2-B2. He looks pretty neat. Fancy little guy. Let's move you out of the way. And I've got my little... Chewbacca, tiny little baby Chewbacca figure, and I've got a cool little speeder. It's a snow speeder, and it's got two stormtroopers in there. One with a gun. One guy's driving because it's dangerous to uh, shoot and drive at the same time. You know, Star Wars got to keep it safe. And some fancy handy dandy instructions. So cool. It's got the same thing where I'm going to be pulling this little tab in the back to get things going. But first. Let's get my GoPro going so you guys can see some of these little tiny figures up close. You can see what they look like, how tiny they really are, some of the little details on them. Pretty cool. And I like this. I like the snow speeder. I like they've got these little speckles of snow all over it. It's like someone took a paintbrush, which I really appreciate. But someone took a paintbrush and like flicked white paint kind of all over it so it looks like it's been snowed on. It's a nice touch. That is a very nice touch. All right, step one says to take this little tabby thing in the back. Let's see if I can raise my GoPro at all just a little bit. There it is, raise the GoPro. Also the roof. All right, raise the GoPro. And let's see here. So it says take this little tabby thing in the back, hold down one leg like I'm doing, hold down one leg with your hand, and pull, oh, again, let's see that on the GoPro. Dun, dun. That is really cool. I don't even know where to start. So this thing, Oh, I should probably follow the directions. Kids, follow the directions. I noticed there's a little ramp down here in the back. There's a fancy little ramp that drops down. That's really cool. And there's this little platform that drops down. Oh, again, one of these clear stick thingamabobbers that just kind of does its own thing. All right, so I get to put the speeder on that. Let's hook that up. There it goes. And again, this one drops down lower to store it. But when you're playing with it, you pull it out. And let's do it this way in this little fashion here. <laughs> oh, oh, that's cool. So see, notice it's got these little legs right here. And there's all these little bumps and ridges on this little platform. So as you turn this with your thumb, it looks like, oh, it's not gonna clear the leg. But it's made so it just perfectly clears the leg. That is really awesome. And let's put Chewbacca in here. Let's put Chewbacca down in the trench. He's in a little trench. That's, that's pretty sweet. I like how this moves. <gasps> It went flying. Again, spoiler alert, that happens in the movie. Uh, <laughs> Beep. All right, let me try putting this back on there and see if we can do that again. Come on, come on. There it is. I, I like it. It's got a cool little ramp. There's like, it's very hot. And the neat part about it, I'm gonna take the GoPro off and kind of give you guys close-ups here. It's, it's really cool. I mean, just look at this. There's a lot of neat stuff in there. A lot of cool little details. Some, there's stickers already placed down here. Little stickers that are already there. What's in the back? Just more ice caves. And this is that ramp I was telling you about. Little ramp. Fancy ramp. I like it. This is a really cool set. Oh, what's that? It's like a rock wall. Oh, that drops down. I didn't even know. So you can like play. You can pretend like Chewbacca's running. 
No, run away from the transport. He's going up the stairs, and it looks like he's going into the base. And then he's, you know what? Let's make Chewbacca take a slide all the way down. Chewbacca, don't do it now. Oh, slide all the way down to the bottom. Let's see that from the other side. How does that look coming down from the other side? Let's see. Uh, uh, don't do it. No. That's pretty sweet. I like this. This is a really cool set. Again, not a lot as far as the figures and the vehicles goes. Only comes with one little figure and it comes with one vehicle. But I like the flying action of it. I like how they use the ridges on the end there to really make the flying action kind of feel and move in a neat, like, kind of, it's a little bumpy at sometimes. If you do it too fast, so he goes flying off against spoilers. That's what happens in the movie. Um, he goes flying off just a little bit, but it's still really cool. And what's neat is I can take my figure from this set. Where is he? Oh, he fell out. He's somewhere. I can even take the vehicle if I want. That's just the first order. Thing. And I can take my vehicle, and look, now I've got two figures. So now, it's not as boring. And I think the reason, like I said before in my other video, I think the reason they only give you one figure and one vehicle is so that you're enticed to buy more play sets like the ones I'm showing you right now. So you end up buying those little mini packs, you buy all this other stuff, so that your play sets are more fun, you can actually play with them a bit more. So I'm gonna put the transport right here. There's this big old transport. There's these cool guys. I really like these cool guys. Check them out. They are really neat looking. Look at them fly. Look at them fly. And then they just go right over the edge there. That's so cool. I love it. I love seeing this. I love how this works. Go fly around in circles. Guys, go fly around. Let's do it from up here. Yeah, look at them. Look at them fly. Look at them fly. That's just, it's cool. I like it. I think it's really neat. I like that this little thing pops out and it looks like just a, it's got something carved on the bottom. It's like a base you can't get into and then it drops down so you can get into it. And slide your buttons all the way down to the bottom. And then this thing pops back up for storage reasons. But I like that it's a slide. Let's see the slide again. All right, Poe's gonna go through there. Poe, can you slide down all the way? Can you do it? Can you do it? Oh, kind of. You're not as good of a slider as Chewbacca is. Chewbacca, you can do it. Oh, there he goes, he made it. Sweet. Guys, this is really awesome. I hope you like watching these Force Friday unboxings. I'm having a lot of fun playing with them. These things are really, really cool. So leave your comments down below. Which one do you think is better? Do you guys like the Stormtrooper, the First Order? First Order? I want to say New World Order. Conspiracy theorists. Uh, first Order Stormtrooper playset and the R2-D2 playset. I don't know what planet this is. If you guys know what planet it is, tell me in the comments below. I want to be enlightened. I'm a big Star Wars nerd, but I haven't actually been following a lot of the news on the new movie because I kind of want to keep it fresh so when the movie comes out I, I, it's just a fresh fun experience for me. I love Star Wars. I love the movies so it'll be really fun. Guys be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you like Star Wars, if you're excited for The Force Awakens, if you're happy about Force Friday. Let me know what you guys got in your shopping if you guys went out and bought any cool Star Wars stuff. And I want to hear which one you think is better, R2-D2 or the Stormtrooper. Leave all the comments all day. Star Wars. Just, I don't care. Star Wars. Leave it. Do it. Now, share the video. Subscribe. Like. Good stuff. I'll see you in the next video. And may the Force.